Mark and Teresa from uh, Auto Office Camping. Today we're here with this uh, Chevy and with uh, Derek, Rebecca, and Goldie <laughs> to show off their really cool build. Um, well, what year again was this? 2004. 2004. So we're going to go ahead inside and take a look around. So let's go. So, we're in your lovely camper. Everyone's in here. This is just an amazing floor plan. That was the first thing I noticed with the space, and you guys have the sun and the skylights. Go ahead and uh, let's start with the front. You know, tell us a little bit more with what you have going on up front there. <laughs> Work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty much what we did is just, we get all, still got a lot of trim work to do and everything, um, but we really wanted to have storage underneath these and have enough room in here where it felt open. I wanted to be able to lay down and have a full size bed <laughs> so I made a seven foot couch in here so when we're driving you can just lay down and cruise. Wow. Um, That's the best part. <laughs> um, over here we just did the little kitchenette thing. Uh, this actually flips down and you can slide a board in there and slide the cushions down and get another bed for another small kid or whoever. And then you just have the post, is this on a hinge or is this? Yeah, so I just dremeled out underneath here and laid up a little thing there. So it's it's sturdy, but all you have to do is lift it and it comes oh. right out. That's excellent. So simple. Quick and easy. Yeah. And then the chairs underneath, extra storage for, yeah. we have tools under there because you always need to have tools. <laughs> so underneath the cushions, you have your tools and. Yeah, so both of these, we just hinged them so they flip up. You can get in there fill them nice now is that your uh, battery system or what do you have in there with the uh, electrical stuff <laughs> oh so that's actually just a small amp we i figured for a road, road trip, trip buggy you want you know we put in some speakers and two 10 inch subwoofers underneath the bed just to, <laughs> very unnecessary but fun. yeah i got right? it all for free so it was, why not that's great yeah. get to be the party bus when we're going down the road <laughs> So basically when you're heading down the road, you know, I see you have the single, the driver's seat, you, you pulled out the other seat and you have the cooler up there. Yeah. Now, you know, with your systems, you're pretty much just running mainly a cooler for your food so or? We actually have, that's actually just a beer cooler. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, we do have this mini fridge here that oh. um, we usually just plug it in before we leave or we'll put food in a cooler or something and then once we get somewhere we can plug in because right now we're not off-grid set up. But, right. Um, worst case, we do have big coolers we'll take if we're going somewhere that doesn't have electric and just do it like we would in a tent before. Yeah. So. But it's nice to have a fridge. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're not off-grid, but we're able to at least keep our stuff cool and then have priority of beer cooler. <laughs> <laughs> right. And the skylight and the lighting. Tell us, tell us more about that. Yeah. That's a story. <laughs> so these were just the old emergency pop-ups that I took them off and I just cut out extra that was metal that was left there and bought plexiglass and cut out shapes and made a metal frame that goes around the top that actually holds it down to keep it from cracking. Um, we had a problem with both of them. We were putting like an insulated piece in here for when it's hot like this that would the heat in there would just crack them so I had to replace them both already so we're thinking about actually just putting windows in or something um, and then we could pop them up too to get yeah. a little bit more air circulation but those are just metal framed down siliconed off and then good old flex tape to keep it sealed and we don't have really any issues with them anymore and then your uh, your le your lighting in the ceiling and your ceiling itself tell us more about that so yeah that's just hooked up to the the actual bus battery. We just got the little Amazon LED puck lights. Nice. Yeah, those um, are awesome. Yeah. Made the mistake of not putting them on the, I wanted to, bought all the dimmable ones and the dimmable switch and didn't realize that I grounded all the lights straight to the bus instead of running everything up front and found out that you have to ground it all the way up front to the switch. Otherwise they just, so now we just have on and off and that's it. Right, right. And that's really cool that you, uh, you know, tell the viewers that yeah 
And then the, the ceiling itself, what is what is the material on that? So this is just five inch tongue and groove pine wood. Okay. Um, luckily we got it in before lumber prices, prices went up. Went up so. Right. I mean, it was probably 500 bucks, but that was the one thing we really wanted was just yeah. real nice wood roof. Now do you have insulation in between there? Yeah, so everything, like all the walls, the floor and the ceiling, when I had this gutted out, I ripped everything up and put we did like one inch foam. Yeah. Like did the wood lathing in there, filled it in with foam, and then uh, same with the ceiling. Cut them to fit in the sections that run across the metal supports in there. And, and there was a good bit of rust, was it, on the like metal frame? Yeah, like, the we actual, did all that too, like the actual metal of the bus. What is that called? I don't the, know. Just the metal <laughs> the <frame>. floor. <laughs> um, when we bought it, the metal floor was like rotted out, so we bought all new uh, galvanized steel. And, ripped up the old, put in new, and then laid the insulation and everything. So that's, hopefully it's not ever gonna be a problem again. Yeah, yeah and Teresa, and Teresa brought up a good question when we were outside there. You know, why did you guys choose a schoolie to do a billet out? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We we had some friends that had some vans and stuff, and- You've just, always wanted to do those yeah. since you were a kid. Like when I was a kid, I always wanted to have like a school bus camper. And we went on a family reunion, friends of ours, cousins had their van there and we we're like oh this is awesome so i just went home started looking online and we found this right away and it was already titled as a motorhome so nice. we didn't have to worry about any of the like process of getting it inspected and making sure you have bathroom running water all that stuff you have to normally do which that in itself is a huge process yeah. if you don't have it done so we saved a ton of time and money and honestly because then a lot of the things would have to have been like professionally done because they yeah. have to come and look at it so we got really lucky and it was listed for four grand, right? Yeah. I think, and we got it for three. Yeah. So how many How many miles? It's a diesel engine? Or? Uh, so no, it's actually the Chevy 6.0 gas engine that's in here. And I think it has like 140 on it. Wow, it's not bad at all. Yeah. That's a great, great buy. You know, obviously you've had to do a lot of work to it, but the fact that, like <laughs> yeah. you said, the title, that's something a lot of people don't think about how important it is in yeah. certain states. Yeah. It really does vary and it's really critical to have that. So. And uh, we got lucky too. There was a wheelchair lift in the back, so then we took that out, and he sold that, so yeah. we were able to make some money back. I think we sold it for like five hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's so the that was cool. And that's the thing too with the uh, schoolies and buses in general. People don't think about all the you know things you can repurpose. Like uh, one of the first schoolie videos we did, that gentleman used a lot of the seat belts for a lot of yeah. his build out parts. Mm, okay, but like yeah. you said, he gave away the seats. But you know there are components in like radio systems and things like that. that you know if you the right person's looking, you know, you can easily sell it on oh, yeah. some kind of marketplace. So, yep. yeah, I mean, all the wiring that came out that was for the original flashing lights and everything, because when we bought this, it still had the stop sign, everything that like wow. functioned normal. School bus. <laughs> so, I a lot of the wiring. There was tons of wiring for lighting, so I reused that a lot for our, all of our like battery wiring for like the lights and everything. So we didn't have to buy any of that stuff. Yeah, you're smart enough to yeah. figure that out. Now. So, <laughs> well, let's uh, let's spin around. There's a couple other yeah. things and have the back end here. All right, so we got turned around here. We have the uh, the curtains. I was really admiring, and then your uh, your sink, you know, system there. So tell us some more about those things. Yeah, so the curtains were actually supposed to be just temporary. We went to we live around a bunch of Amish, so we just went to the Amish fabric store and found the cheapest fabric we could find. Um, I told her we could just replace it at any time, and so far we just kind of liked them and haven't changed them. Um, but I just went to Lowe's, bought some dowels, and got them set up and attached, and then bought the fabric, took it home. I don't know much about sewing, but, you know, we got loose ends hanging, but we made them work, and we just made it so they fit. That's great. Closed the window. And, I, and I'd ask you earlier about your, your windows were already pre-tinted, which obviously that's a huge yeah. heat saver right there. Yeah, that's the biggest thing we're dealing with because that's one thing. I have electric ran to the one skylight in case we ever put a AC unit in, but right now it's when it's hot and you just run the fans and avoid being in here. 88 during... degrees in here yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Gets and, toasty. But... And tell me about your sink setup in your cabinet there. Yeah, so the sink, um, right now we're just, eventually we'd like to put a cooktop here. Okay. Um, but right now we we just use our regular Coleman camping grill outside, usually just Throw it on the picnic table or wherever we're at, and or set up a table. 
and uh, but for now we're just using that eventually that's what we'd like to do is put a propane tank down underneath and just do a little two burner three burner something like that we're just thankful right now to have a sink to yeah. be able to wash the dishes in because we just did that recently this was like the yeah. latest that we did was the cushions um, we got foam and made them ourselves and then the sink which one hack you mentioned a hack that we can yeah. help people with is this is actually a bathroom sink faucet because we were looking at the ones at what was it Home Depot or Lowe's yeah. and it was like $300 for like a big faucet so yeah I can't move it around or anything but this was like 50 bucks so yeah. way cheaper than getting like a giant kitchen one which may be nicer but if you're trying to save a couple bucks yeah it's an idea <laughs> and then you have everything with your water system underneath uh, you said in the cabinets with your gray water and yeah, so the gray, I, I did a gray water tank underneath. We have 16 gallons, I think it is, gray water tank underneath. Okay. Um, which is outside of the bus. And then underneath here, I have a fresh water tank, which is a 10 gallon, and a little, one of those little 12 volt pumps that we got actually from her dad who had it laying around. Um, so we actually, I just made it all the plumbing where I can hook a hose right up to it, or if we don't have a water source option. I have that pump and I can use the pump in the tank that's, yeah, that's here. Yeah, let's take a look at what we have there. So we also just use this for like our food, snacks, whatever. And, uh, yeah, so that's really simple. A lot of just really simple. I see this, you know, the pump like you're talking about. Yeah. And that's a really nice, you know, the water, the full tank itself. A friend of ours just did that in his Overlander. Mm -hmm. And the cabinet itself, was this something that you had picked up, you had, or? This we got from Lowe's, from Lowe's yeah. or Home Depot. It was, yeah, I think it was actually a bathroom cabinet. It was like all natural wood like this, and then we painted it, got the hardware from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, and you actually built this countertop. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so the, the countertop, they wanted like crazy money for a small section of countertop, so I just went and bought a cheap piece of uh, sanded plywood, um, sanded it down, and then I painted it white and then put a polyurethane on top of it just to kind of protect it from water. And so far, we haven't had any issues with it, and it's been working pretty good. Yeah, it matches so nicely. I mean, you can't really see yeah. it in the camera, but the polyurethane really gives it a nice, you know, instead of just traditional shine. paint. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure that's great when you need to do your dishes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Something that was a little bit more affordable because it gets expensive when you add everything. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it was a nice hack. <laughs> and then you have your, uh, you know, so you have your bed set up back there. What was the reasoning to have like, you know, a little bit of a wall area? Like, was there a thought between having like a separation between the two spaces? Um, I think we kind of did that just because we could, you know, you could have this tucked against tight and you have this separating the whole bedroom. Plus, we ever figured like if it was you know you need to change or something don't feel like closing all the curtains we could put something here to just go in there change or and just i guess just privacy too yeah. the, the one thing we both like we wanted a normal size bed you know when you're camping and we're like you're cramped on these little mattresses we did just we built it around it's a queen isn't yeah. it which is we ridiculous so but fit. we wanted that to fit because we were like we're gonna spend a lot of time in here and we want the bed to be big comfortable or now do all three of you fit in there yes yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, her show. <laughs> so when it's hot though, it normally she'll just come and drop Sleep down here. Wherever. So it's us in there. And, <laughs> but one of the main reasons we wanted our bed here because you have uh, giant windows in the back for the emergency handicap. Um, so. Oh wow. When you're driving down the road come back here if you're somewhere with some cool views you can literally lay in bed and these are the biggest windows and they wrap the whole way around so i mean that's the best part just driving down awesome scenery and if you're not driving you get to lay back here and enjoy that's so awesome and then would you uh any specific type of mattress that you went with or so yeah it was actually just a cheapy it's an eight inch mattress i just built this at the height so it would be at the window level and it's uh i think it was amazon we got it for like 175 bucks um versus you know if you went to a mattress store it's it's just like a tempur-pedic foam mat pretty much being rolled up it was in a roll yeah one of the ones up. that like <laughs> put back back and sealed big, yeah. and rolled up yeah and then underneath is that like your little garage setup um so yeah underneath there we just kind of keep our camping chairs like cooking stuff hammocks 
uh, spare tire or whatever. We slide our laundry baskets underneath there so that way we can just get to them quick and just pull them out and then tuck them out of the way. More storage. Yeah. You will realize like how much storage you need. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's great too, you know, with the uh, baskets, just how easy and simple it is. You have space and it can come in and out. You can carry it in the house and yeah. it's yeah. not fixed system. So. Yeah. No, yeah, because, yeah, we live, I mean, in Lancaster, PA, and, you know, we randomly decided to come here. So it's nice to just pull your stuff from home and just set it there, pull it back out, because yeah. how often we use it. We don't live in it, but we use it, I mean, and during the summer, a lot. Yeah. Two to four times a month. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time to show us this build. Absolutely beautiful. You know, just in closing, are there any kind of things that you could share with viewers on... <laughs> what you would do different, uh, what to think about if they were to build a schoolie or just do any kind of build? Yeah, I mean, one is price, whatever you have, thinking it's going to cost, it's always... Double. <laughs> yeah, I mean, add, add money to what your budget is or try to start off smaller with your budget so that way when you do end up at your final thing, because... We kind of thought maybe oh we'll throw this amount and then it's just once you start you know putting a little extra into the roof and certain things that you don't think about they're going to cost money it adds up so that's probably one thing is just maybe put your budget lower and buy lower items if you're on a budget type thing um or and, just be flexible like yeah. the, the stuff that we made a priority we kept a priority like the ceiling was a priority because we felt like that's what you see when you walk in so we went and spend a little bit more but then the floors like this is from ollie's it's a vinyl flooring we got a roll for like 40 dollars and it did the whole bus and could do it again if yeah. we wanted to like we had enough and it so was when we flexible went, yeah when we went to a flooring store it was like 500 some dollars so it's like you can floors. find take your time to like look around and find other options that because what she wanted was like this exact floor maybe just a tint darker and then we found this for hundreds bucks. of dollars less so <laughs> yeah. yeah. And just, yeah, be flexible, take your time. I feel like for us, you know, I feel like you go crazy, you want to do all these things, but each trip you find something different that you can yeah. change. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, something is better than nothing. Like, we're not finished with everything yet, but yeah. we're still using it and enjoying it until we can finish it. That's another good tip of just, like, the using it while, even if you're not done, the first trip I ever took in this was down to Florida, and we had nothing. a couch sitting in here some carpet that we got out of a renovation job and I slept on an air mattress a buddy of mine slept on the couch we had bikes and coolers just kind of scattered in here and I mean you can start anywhere I wouldn't say and then when you do things like that it definitely opens your eyes to like wow we really need this or this really isn't that important but this is and stuff that you might not have ever thought about yeah and the most the areas that you're traveling like you know right now system wise you don't have a you know obviously a shower or a toilet in here of course those things are very easy to yeah. to pick up and have portable systems like that now um you know tool wise was there any like one specific tool that you guys found with your bill that you used the most that you felt like was a game changer <laughs> hmm. all of them <laughs> i don't know yeah i would just say one of, no, I, you have to say that keep always have like a spare set of tools with you because there was one time we were here a few months ago and our brakes blew out and Derek didn't mm. bring any tools. We always have tools with us. It was the first trip that he didn't and his sister was driving down to the pier and they lost the brakes and luckily his dad and him could fix it like they're smart enough to fix it over there on the other campsite. <laughs> but it was the one time you didn't have any tools. Yeah. So always bring tools, yeah. <laughs> whatever they are, because that's cool. Just like all the regular stuff you need. Yeah. And then future upgrades, like, uh, you know, obviously, like you guys said, you're continuing to live in the space and use the space, but what's the next uh, few things that are on your wish list? So the biggest thing is probably going to be getting our mini fridge enclosed with the trash can and getting another, like, countertop area over here. A little more permanent And with some, like, space. cabinets or something up top. Um, that was kind of the goal with this area, but then, you know, like we said, we use it as we go. I got the mini fridge, and we were, like, just put it in there for now and so eventually we'd like to have another countertop over here um a lot of the trim stuff on the couch isn't done and maybe we would do want to build that into like a cabinet yeah. eventually um, that never got finished off 
Yeah. So it's like little things. Painting it was one of the last things that we did too. Yeah. That was huge. It feels so much better though. It's not yellow. <laughs> now, if um, you know, you had mentioned you're on Instagram. Do you do you have other platforms or? It's just Instagram, yeah, and it's August the Adventure Bus. So yeah. Cool. We try to post when we can, but. You're, li you're, you're out there enjoying right now, it. Yeah. We have not really kept up. I don't even think the last post has half of the stuff that's in here. Yeah, but, it doesn't. Yeah. We broke down a lot and got a little discouraged. So <laughs> then we kind of like put things on hold and COVID and things. So now we're back. Good, <laughs> good. Well, thank you again for taking the time. Appreciate the three of you uh, showing us and showing everyone your incredible build and, and what you've done and sharing your information and knowledge. It's really incredible. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. It was fun. Well, thanks All for right. checking it out. All right. <laughs> Take care.